Hello everybody, Science1324 here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build this cool little emergency flashlight. This uses supercapacitors instead of batteries, and as you can see on the back, there's a USB charging port. So you can just plug it into any USB device and charge it. So let's get started. What you'll need is a prototyping board like this, a 1K resistor, two 0.1 microfarad capacitors, a five volt voltage regulator, a push button, some ultra capacitors, and a USB port. And of course, you'll also need an LED. First, you'll wanna take your prototyping board and an X-Acto knife and score along an edge like this. Once you've broken the edge that you've scored off, it should look something like this. Next, what you'll want to do is take your USB port and solder it to the very end of your prototyping board. Next, you'll want to take your voltage regulator and your prototyping board, which should have your USB port soldered on the end already. What you'll want to do is put your voltage regulator in with at least two spaces between the back of your USB port and the back of the voltage regulator. Next, you'll want to take a jumper wire and solder pin one on your USB port to pin one on your voltage regulator. Then solder a wire from pin number four on your USB header to the middle pin on your voltage regulator. Next come our 0.1 microfarad capacitors. The negatives are attached in the middle to the middle terminal on the voltage regulator. The two positive terminals on either capacitor are attached to the two outer wires of the voltage regulator. You also want to make sure the voltage regulator and USB plug don't touch. Next, you will solder on your ultra capacitors and make sure that you have the polarities set up correctly on both capacitors. The capacitors I'm using have white arrows pointing to the negative terminal, but this can change depending on what type of capacitors you have. Next come your LED and your push button switch. The LED will be on this side of the board and your push button will be on the opposite side of the board. The negative terminal on the LED will go through the 1K resistor to the negative terminals on your supercapacitors. The positive terminal will go through the push button to the positive terminal on the supercapacitors. Next, I coated the bottom side of the board with hot glue to make it easier to hold on to as well as to help keep any of the terminals from any of the components from contacting each other and shorting out. Putting glue on this side of the board is not necessary either. However, I would advise putting it between your voltage regulator and your USB port to keep them from shorting out. And that's all you have to do to make this emergency supercapacitor flashlight. This thing actually really surprised me after I finished putting it together with how long it would run that LED. I only had it plugged in for 20 seconds and it felt like it ran that LED for a lot longer than that. And that's the nice thing about these capacitors, they charge really fast and hold a lot of energy for that LED. Thanks for watching guys, if you haven't already don't forget to hit that like button and let me know that you enjoyed this project in this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when I upload more videos like this so you can learn how to make other cool gadgets like this. And if you're interested in stuff like this, go check out my channel. I have all kinds of videos of cool gadgets and gizmos. But that's it for this video, so thanks for watching guys. Bye!